Hi, I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to continue with the topic on compressor. As all you have known that we have gone through the introduction, the centrifugal flow compressor, the axial flow compressor, and now we are going to look into operating conditions as well as airflow control. With regards to the operating conditions, there are few other things that we need to consider. First of all, each stage of a multi-stage compressor possesses certain airflow characteristics that are dissimilar from those of its neighbor. Thus, to design a workable and efficient compressor, the met characteristics of each stage must be carefully match. This is a relatively simple process to implement for one set of conditions. So we can start with the design parameters. We can set the mass flow, the pressure ratio and rotational speed. But it's much more difficult when reasonable matching is to be retained with the compressor operating over a wide range of conditions such as an aircraft engine and counters. Okay, if the operating conditions impose upon the compressor blade departs too far from the design intention, okay, just put in your mind design intention, breakdown of airflow as well as aerodynamically induced vibration will occur. So there are two things will happen. One is the breakdown of airflow. The other one is, okay, the other one is the aerodynamically induced vibration. So this phenomena may take one or two forms, right? The blades may stall because of the angle of incident of the relative air to the blade is too high, okay, it is too high or too low, okay, the blade may, may stall. What happened is actually the positive incident stall is a front stage problem at low speeds and the negative incident usually occur at the rear stages at high speeds. Either can lead to blade vibration. Okay, we want to avoid that, which can induce rapid disruption. Okay, you can look at uh, certain uh, references or Google on what does it look like when blade vibration occurs in the compressor. So if the engine demands a pressure rise from the compressor which is higher than the blading can sustain, search will occur. Alright, search will occur. What happens when search occurs? There is an instantaneous breakdown of flow. So there will be no continuous flow in the compressor through the machine and the high pressure air in the combustion system is expelled forward. Instead of going backward, it will be pushed forward through the compressor with a loud bang. Eh? We can clearly hear it. We means the uh, um, the pilot as well as the uh, when they do the, the system uh, checking and a resultant loss of engine thrust. We should know at this particular moment the compressors are designed with adequate margin to ensure that this area of instability is avoided. So we have a chart here limits of stable airflow and we have a chart on the y-axis the pressure ratio okay the pressure ratio here and the airflow increasing here so this is the safety margin right again stated there the safety margin and we have the unstable area okay unstable area on this side okay anything falls in that particular area, unstable area, 
it will create to a disaster right so we have the dotted line so this is the dotted line uh, which is the search line and the working line so this is the operating working line uh, so as you can see here at 60% rpm 70% rpm 80% 90% 100% rpm the uh, operating of the engine compressor must uh, be sure that it is only occur in this uh, region eh? the safety margin region within the safety margin region right let's move, move on to the next uh, section which is the airflow control it won't take that much uh, long in terms of the airflow control where high pressure ratios on a single shaft are required it becomes necessary to introduce airflow control into the compressor design so you want to make sure whenever you have high pressure ratios you want to be able to control the airflow in the compressor this may take the form of variable inlet vanes for the first stage okay you can have variable inlet guide vanes as well as a number of stages incorporating variable stator vanes right you can change the angle of the stator vanes for the succeeding stages as the shaft pressure ratio is increased this picture show a typical variable stator vanes so you can see here the shaded area variable stator vanes and these are the control mechanism okay so whenever um, the airflow need to be controlled at higher pressure ratio when needed these variable stator vanes will be activated as the compressor speed is reduced from its design value these static vanes are progressively closed in order to maintain an acceptable air angle value on the following rotor blades so the three types of air blit systems are hydraulic pneumatic and electronic so in modern aircraft most likely it will have an electronic air blit system and there are cases that the older type of engine has the hybrid system which combine pneumatic and electronics okay that's all for now we will continue with the next slide on materials and balancing thank you very much